Okay, here we are. Don's using a dry fly right now. We're fishing these uh, pockets. If you look at the pockets we're fishing. We're dropping it right here for right now. So we're going to go up. And we're going to fish all of these pockets all the way up through here. Yesterday I was in here and I fished about 120 yards. And I caught 15 fish. All little native wild brown trout. See how you pulled it out of there fast? Yeah. You don't want that. You want to keep it to the bottom, right from it. Strip line in. What was that? It stripped the line in. See, it's kind of going fast through there. Got to get it to slow down. Okay, we switched over to nymph now. I'm just gonna work these rapids. Stuck again. All right, we're gonna. I changed to a nymph, so I can't drop a dry fly on here. But this would be perfect water for a dry fly. All of this right through here. It's got some depth, and it's not too choppy. Record first. I'm going to move out to the middle and fish my nymph. Let me make a couple short ones right here first. I don't spook anything out of here. Being a little bigger, you got to concentrate a little bit harder on your on your drifts, more or less making them about six inches apart. Your drifts. There's one, nice one. Nice little wild brown trout right there. Said, I just put a fly past him six inches away and he didn't go anywhere and he's off. That's a six incher. Had to move that fly just six inches. There we go, I moved it about a foot now. Stretch my line a little bit, get on the left side here. Like I said, keep likely lies just make like six inch six inch movements on your fly. That way you know you covered it off. Another, ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one there. Might go 10 inches. Get him on the reel. It is a nice one here.
is a 10 inch wild drum shot right here. And he took the top fly, surprise, surprise. Beautiful 10 inch brownie, wild brown trout. Might even be 11 inches. And away he goes. All my flies are caught in my net. My second fly doesn't have any weight on it, so I have a, a sinker right next to it, but I just have a bead on the other one, and that's it. Basically, no added weight. Sinker is about the equivalent of a bead. Don's doing pretty good. When he's got a tutor standing next to him. Nice little wild brown trout he just got. And away he goes. Try to get it up the left side of that branch. There you go, a little higher on the cast though. Try to get it up all the way up by the rock. A little better. There you go. All you have to do is dissect it and you'll catch them. Had two of them right here already. And you're stuck again. Here we are, here's a nice, beautiful spot for these small ones to be. We got this ripple right here. And then over here we got nice deeper water and then that sunlight it's even deeper. Maybe up on the other side seam over there where it's a little bit heavier water. Are you ready to go, Don? Yep. All right, come on up. Be careful, use your stick. Take your time and use your stick.
We just fished all of this from all the way back there. All the way up here. How many did you hook, Don? Three. Is that all? That's it. Well, I have about six. Six. Very surprised that this hole isn't producing. We're going to be stopping here soon. I'm just going to go up and hit this gym right up there. Yep. Thanks for coming along with us today. I hope you enjoyed yourself. We had a good time. Keep catch and release. Check out my sponsors. Let them know I sent you. And uh, good luck on the water. Thank you very much for watching my videos.